In the chill of December 1948, a somber discovery sent ripples of intrigue through the serene shores of Somerton Beach in Adelaide, Australia. Lying against a wall, a man's lifeless form adorned in a pristine suit and polished shoes beckoned to the authorities. His head slumped in a silent testament to a mysterious demise. Initial suspicions of heart failure or poisoning shrouded the investigation, yet the autopsy yielded no traces of poison. With no wallet or identification to offer solace, and every tag from his garments meticulously excised, the enigma deepened. Even the fingerprints taken from the body defied identification, casting a veil of anonymity over the deceased. In a desperate bid for answers, authorities turned to the press, plastering the man's likeness across newspapers in hopes of eliciting recognition. Yet, the silent spectre remained nameless, a mystery shrouded in the echoes of the crashing waves. Four months passed, each day marked by fruitless inquiries until a breakthrough emerged. Detectives stumbled upon a concealed pocket sewn within the man's trousers, yielding a rolled up parchment from a rare tome, the Rubaiyat. Inked upon the parchment, the haunting words Tamam Shud whispered of finality, a cryptic farewell etched in ink. Months of fruitless searching for the elusive volume yielded naught, and with solemn resignation, authorities consigned the unidentified man to an anonymous grave preserving his likeness in a cast and embalming him for posterity. Yet, fate had one final twist in store. Eight months hence, a man stepped into the police station, his tale intertwined with the tendrils of the mysterious affair. He recounted discovering a copy of the Rubaiyat within his parked car near Somerton Beach, a revelation spurred by the media's clamor for answers. Within its pages lay a torn fragment a perfect match to the parchment found upon the Somerton man. The book bore a phone number and a cryptic code, leading investigators to a woman named Jessica Thompson, whose evasive demeanor only deepened the enigma. She professed ignorance of the deceased, attributing the book's sale to a man named Alfred Boxall, a man still very much alive and in possession of his copy of the Rubaiyat. The code, a tantalizing puzzle, remained stubbornly resistant to decryption, its secrets locked away as tightly as the identity of the man on Somerton Beach. Years passed, the mystery enduring as a testament to the inscrutable nature of fate. Yet, a glimmer of hope emerged in the unlikeliest of places. In July 2022, Adelaide University professor Derek Abbott, alongside genealogist Colleen M. Fitzpatrick, claimed to have unveiled the identity of the man, Carl Charles Webb. Yet, even with this revelation, the circumstances of his demise remain shrouded in the mists of uncertainty, a testament to the enduring allure of the Somerton Man mystery. The case persists as unresolved to this day. While we have identified the Somerton Man and gained substantial insights into the circumstances surrounding him, the central enigma remains, what caused his death and for what reasons? Thank you for tuning in to another captivating true crime tale from AI Plot Twists. Be sure to explore the description below for further details and insights into this narrative.